Boys to Cylinder Heads channel. Today we're going to be going over, uh, well in this segment of the video we're going to be going over installing guides on a Subaru single overhead cam uh, cylinder head. We're going to drive out these uh, metal cast iron guides um, to replace them because they've been worn, uh, just worn out during use. Um, so we'll go over a few things um, on how to do that and what things to pay attention to. Uh, today we're going to be using a hammer guide driver. This is a specialized tool designed to uh, drive those guides out safely without damaging the cylinder head. Uh, we're going to measure our guides with a set of calipers and a micrometer. Um, we'll also use a sharpie to mark our depth. And uh, yeah, well, let's get started. Um, we've already pulled out the right guides. Here's what the uh, new guides look like. They got a groove on it for the valve stem seal to hang on and a little bit of a chamfered edge here to drive in smoothly. Um, so we'll set these aside for now and uh, we'll measure the guide height where it protrudes out on the valve spring side of things. We're getting a uh, About 0.675 of an inch. Um, and so on our guides here, we will take our Sharpie. And just mark those guides to that same depth. Right about there. I'm just putting that line on there so I can visibly see when it gets to that point, I'll know to stop. I'll mark all these the same, so that we're consistent. Alright, now that we have that measured out, we're just going to use this guide driver and hammer to drive it out. You always want to make sure your guide driver is smaller in outside diameter than your guide, so you don't just drive it into the aluminum. That could damage the casting pretty significantly and potentially ruin the cylinder head. Alright, always remember to wear your safety equipment, uh, especially when using hammers and drivers. You could uh, have a chunk of metal shear off there and Try and shoot in your eye or, you know, just be careful, use safety equipment. So we'll just drive all four of these out, it's going to be a little noisy, and then we'll drive them back in. Ooh. Always got to be careful not to do that sometimes. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done that, but uh, if it is significant damage, we'd have to weld that thing back up. Doesn't look like we're going to have to do that today. Maybe another video. <laughs> worn out guides look like and uh, they're mostly worn out throughout this hole the guide goes up and down through that at a really high <clears throat> high speed when the engine is running um, 
These also tend to, uh, the aluminum tend to ex tends to expand with the heat of the running engine. The more this thing overheats, the higher chance you have of one of these just kind of slipping out on its own. And so every time we do a set of cylinder heads like this, single overhead cam Subaru, <coughs> it's routine for us to uh, replace the exhaust guys. We put in a higher press fit, about two thousandths more than standard. And that prevents that from slipping out in the future. So the next step is look at these holes, make sure there's no uh, um, mars or grooves in there, and then we'll drive the guides, the new guides in. Um, all right. <clears throat> well, thank you for watching today's video. Um, we'll go over the rest of this uh, in, in our next video.